Hello again, Internet friends. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Once again, I am working on Chief Architect Premier version X10 on my iMac desktop computer, but uh, I will give you the uh, cues as, uh, as it goes along for the Windows options as well. This does work uh, on as far back as I can remember on the versions of Chief Architect. So uh, I think you should be able to follow along no matter what version or computer you have. I have this situation here where uh, the design changed just slightly yesterday um, to where we had the first floor walls, the addition walls was lined up behind the um, existing house. And now, uh, it is in front of the existing house, and, but the the foundation remains here where it was. So we're cantilevering this out, um, almost three feet, two two foot nine, something like that. That that part isn't what matters so much, but this uh, terrain wall is what matters, and you'll see here why that matters. Uh, this is a uh, terrain retaining wall. And you'll see that the stone stops with the face of this first floor wall. And now that terrain is not retained, so to speak. Um, this, this granite surface is really the um, a, a polyline solid that I did in a previous video. Um, and, and that's just supposed to be just a cap here. And so the trouble is that um, I can't take their training terrain retaining wall all the way back to the foundation because this first floor wall stops it. And the reason that the terrain retaining wall is on first floor is because our grade is set on first floor. So what we have to do for this is, uh, oops, I've got the wrong file here. Let's go to the right version. Let's not save that. What I'm going to have to do is select these objects here that are on first the first floor layer anything that has to do with the grade and I'm going to command X on my Mac on a PC you'd be hitting control X that's cut right control command option V or control V on your PC paste in place now I'm going to take my retaining wall and take it all the way back to the um, all the way back to the foundation. That works so far, but the issue is that um, let's go turn on our roads here as well. That road needs to be down on first or the foundation layer as well. The issue is that uh, our terrain is on first floor or first the first level so none of this information makes any sense to the program let's just double check that go by the um, yeah so all the controls are on um, the foundation page but foundation layer but it, it doesn't make sense to the program here so let's um, copy these. We're gonna we're gonna select all of these and Command X down to foundation layer. Con command Option V up to first floor, and then we're gonna turn on terrain perimeter. Now this terrain perimeter. Unfortunately, we, I don't believe we can move it, per se, uh, to the, uh, just change like a layer, like in um, layout settings, we can't do that. Um, but, so I'm gonna have to remember this, 64 inches, I can Command X, Command Option V, let's see if that is, that's a polyline, say, yeah. It won't paste a, um, terrain perimeter. So we're going to have to just convert that 
uh, it, it knows it's something, it's not fully a polyline, so we had to deconvert convert it into a polyline and then convert it back into a terrain perimeter. And I'm going to check that, make that 64. Now that our terrain is on the right level with all of the uh, controls, terrain controls, including the elevation lines, um, roads, sidewalks, terrain retaining walls, etc. This should, let's cross our fingers, voila. Let's turn our exterior fixtures back on. Ahaha. Interesting. Interesting. So, let's move this down. Oh, because that's on first floor, yeah. Um, okay. Turn on our exterior fixtures. Let's, let's, uh, command X and paste those down here, see what happens. There we go. There we go. Now our terrain is, is set properly. It goes, the wall goes all the way back to the foundation. Uh, the retaining wall retains properly everything around this door the way it's supposed to. Uh, let's move, let's move this mailbox off of the driveway. Now this landing and stairs does recognize the terrain. Uh, th those aren't terrain objects, so that, that stays where they're supposed to. It's the road, the sidewalk, the driveway, um, the wall, terrain retaining walls, etc. that need to be on the uh, layer that has the terrain perimeter on it. Uh, you can set that terrain perimeter on any, any level, zero through 103 if you want, uh, but you, you follow what I'm saying. Typically I put it on level one um, because I want to see that, um, I don't know, I want to see that footprint on my plot plan, uh, but this is a unique case where I need it on um, level zero so that my cantilever uh, can overlap the terrain retaining wall here. Hey. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. If you've learned something or, or uh, kind of refreshed something here, I would appreciate the encouragement of a thumbs up. As always, subscribe and you'll get notified of these videos each week as I release them. Uh, do check out my website, www.designbuildsolutionsllc.com for explanation and examples of our services, whether you're a homeowner, contractor, or a designer and you need a draftsman to... to uh, I can, I can do the plans, I can do modeling, whatever you need there. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week.